Evergreen by Richie Mitch and the Coal Miners. I don't know anything about this band. I don't know who Richie Mitch is. I don't even know who the Coal Miners are, if we're being completely honest. But here's what I do know. You gotta have a guitar in standard tuning, and you must put a capo on the third fret. I like, you know what? I use a Kaiser capo. I, there's a link in the description. Go get yourself a nice old Kaiser McCapo using the affiliate links from me. Self-conscious about saying that, so I had to mispronounce links. That was my way of dealing with it. Moving on. My name's Stuart. Welcome to Guitar Lessons with Stuart. Capo on the third fret. Make sure it's nice and snug on there. At this point in time, you are going to play an F chord. There are many ways to play an F chord. Let me show you the F chord that I believe they use in this song in the recording. Ring finger is gonna be on the third fret of the second string from the top. Pinky, third fret on the third string from the top. Middle finger, second fret on the third string from the bottom. Pointer finger, first fret on the second string from the bottom. Now, I use my thumb to mute the top string. If you feel like it would be a comfortable thing for you to do, you could have your thumb play the first fret on the top string. I usually don't with this song. I don't think it's necessary. And uh, you know, I can do it, but just kind of like to mute the top string. I like the sound of it. Bottom string of the guitar, this high E string. Some people like to have their pointer finger smash down onto the bottom two strings. I think that's a pain in the butt. So what I do is I just have my pointer finger mute the bottom string. And if we're being 100% perfectly honest, if we're being transparent, am I being clear? Crystal. What's that from? Is that from Breaking Bad? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, if you have the, on the F chord for this song, if you have the bottom string open, it still sounds pretty good. So that's my feeling about that. F chord, let's learn the strumming pattern. For the beginning, for the beginning, we would like the strumming to be muted. It's got that cool muted sound. So here's what I do. I take this part of my hand, side of my palm, and I just very lightly touch the strings right here. Oh, you can see my computer. It's one of those you can see my computer days. I just have the side of my palm. Touch the strings right there. And then when I strum, I try to keep my wrist as loosey-goosey as possible but I just touch the strings. If it's like this, if you're too far this way, doesn't sound like anything. If you're too far this way, can't hear the muting. You wanna be right, right there. You see where my hand is? Look, look, you get a little sneak peek. Uh, there's no way I can get a good angle. So we've got our palm muting going. If you don't like the palm muting, don't do it. I don't care. And here's the strumming. We're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, down, down. That wasn't helpful at all. You strum down a bunch of times. You strum down, eight times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then right after that eighth one, I do a quick little strum up. So I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, that wasn't right. I don't know how to count. I don't know how to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's, what a joke. Um. And then also, what I like to do is every third strum, I put a little accent on it. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, ba, 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 one of the most scattered starts I've ever had, but I think we get it. We all understand what's happening here. You're gonna do that pattern once on the F. One, two, three, four, five, six, down, down. Then you go to an A minor chord. The way you do A minor, top string is gonna be muted with your thumb still. Second string from the top, open. Put your middle finger on the second fret of the third string from the top. Ring finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. Pointer finger on the first fret of the second to bottom string. A minor chord, when you switch from the F to the A minor, you get to keep your pointer finger in the exact same spot. Look at this, look at this. Boom, bang, boom. Pointer finger does not move. If you lift up your pointer finger and start from scratch, it's gonna take you so much longer. So we're going F, A minor. 
At this point in time, we're gonna play a C. The version of C we're gonna play is a C over G. Here's what it is. You've got your A minor chord all ready to go. Lift up your ring finger, but keep your pointer finger and middle finger in the same spots. Put your ring finger on the third fret of the top string, and then your pinky right below it on the third fret of the second string from the bottom. We're gonna do that same strumming pattern, but we're gonna do it twice on this C over G chord. So watch this. F. A minor. C over G. Then again. That's the intro. The intro is just one guitar doing that two times. Then we get into the big old strumming. We get into the official song part of the song. We're gonna play the exact same chords, but now the strumming is gonna change. First of all, we're not gonna palm mute anymore. We are done palm muting. Get your F chord all ready to go. Our strumming is now going to be like this. Instead of going down, 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 up, down, 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 up. We are now going to go down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. I know, it's confusing. Let's take it step by step. Starts off, you go down. Great, easy, peasy, lemon, squeezy. Would you please go down, down, up, down, up, down. So let's just say it first. Just repeat after me. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Now let's play it. Here we go. Down, down, up, down, up, down. One more time and G.I. Joe. And down, down, up, down, up, down. Great. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. And down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. That's wrong, I did it. No, that was right, I'm smart. One, two, here we go. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Again, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. All that's left is one more down up, like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Nope, what happened? What just happened to me? Like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Very confusing. Nice and slow, play along with me. All on the F chord. One, two, here we go. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Now let's do it two times in a row. But this time we're gonna do it once on the F, then we'll do it once on the A minor. Deal? One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. We did it. Do it fast, let's do it fast. Now what you're gonna notice is we do it fast is it gets hard to switch from one chord to the next. So on the last strum up, you lift up your fingers, getting ready to switch to the next chord. So if we do it kind of slow, it's like down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, lift, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, lift, down, down, up, like that, like that. And then we do it faster. Let's try it. Try it fast with me. Down, down, one, two, here we go. Sorry, I forgot what chord was next, but that's not all. So we do that once on the F, once on the A minor, twice on the C over G with that new strumming. But here's one more little wrinkle. For the F chord and the A minor chord, halfway through that strumming pattern, you're gonna lift up your middle finger. So it's gonna be on the F, we're going down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Lifted up my middle finger for the A minor, it's down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. When we do it fast, it goes like this. Watch this. This is the greatest. It goes. C over G is just normal. Just normal. We're going to do that. We're going to play that new strumming pattern with the little lifty up middle finger thing two times. Then the vocals come in. The singing starts. And we do it another two times. So, so far we've got two times with the palm muting. Then we do it two times with the new strumming, no singing, 
two times with the new strumming with singing. We're gonna call that the verse. Then we're gonna get to the chorus. The chorus is almost exactly the same, a little bit different. We've got the F chord. But then don't switch to the A minor. Just start doing the F again. So we go down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. But then after that last down, up, down, up on the F chord, you're gonna take that entire chord and move it one, two frets over. Now we have a G chord. Like that. That's a G chord. So watch this. F, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. See that right there? And this takes us right to an A minor chord, which we do twice. So watch this. When we get to the chorus, it goes like this. It only does that one single solitary time. Then we just do the F chord twice. And then to the C chord. When I went from the F to the C, notice these three fingers all move together as one unit. Pointer finger stays in the same spot. That goes like that. The very end of the song is we just do the F twice, then the C twice, then we do F twice, and then one strum of C, and the song is over. Let's play the whole thing all the way through because it's so short. We'll do it medium speed, almost full speed, not quite. One and two, and from the top, and... Repeat that. How's your palm muting going? Uh. Then the new strumming. Do it again. Then the singing starts. same time so much strumming so anyway i messed up i messed up and i hope you won't hold it against me evergreen by richie mitch and the coal miners my name's stuart welcome to guitar lessons with stuart i'm saying it at the end now why do i say welcome at the end it doesn't make any sense